Does your matrix visual look like this? Boring, right? But what if we could look like this? Beautiful, isn't it? Stick around, I'm going to show you how to transform your matrices from dull and confusing to clear and beautiful. Hello everyone, my name is Ismail and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this tutorial, we'll cover tips and tricks to enhance your matrix visualizations, making them not only more aesthetically pleasing, but also easier to understand. Before we jump in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon so that you never miss a new tutorial. I'm going to start by creating the matrix visual here. I'm going to bring in the category, the region and the total sales here to begin with. I, I now have a table created. Let's change this into a matrix visual and bring in the region from columns into the rows. Let's head over to the format section under layout and style presets. Let's make some changes here. I have made a detailed video on the new updates that the matrix visual has received. You can check that out. It's available on my channel. I'll also leave a link to that video in the description below. Now let's make some changes here in the style section here. I'm going to change this to minimal and let's right click on the category here. Click on select expand and then select all here so that all of the rows here get expanded. And then under layout, I'm going to change this to tabular and let's also turn off the row subtotals that we have here. Let's go back to the page one. I'm going to copy the slicer that I have here in the interest of time so that I don't have to recreate that particular slicer. Now I now have category, region and total sales. Let's bring in the year over year sales. I'm, I have the measure created called year over year sales. Now let me quickly show you what is it that I have created. First of all, I have created the last year sales here. Let me ex make this a little bigger. I have created a measure here called last year sales, which is basically calculating the sum of sales. I'm using the function same period last year here and passing in the date field from my calendar table. Now I have this measure created and then I've created another measure here called year over year sales, wherein I'm just subtracting the total sales here with last year sales. I have now added the year over year sales to my visual, which is basically giving me the absolute values of the number increase or decrease. And then I have a measure here, which is year over year percentage, which is basically calculating the percentage. I have the measure here on the screen. You can check that out. I'm going to bring that year over year sales percentage into my visual. I now have the percentage being displayed here as well. Now let's start formatting this visual on the total sales over here. I'm going to right click on total sales. I'm going to go to conditional formatting and choose background color in the lowest value here. Let's choose more colors and I have a hex code here that I want to apply. I'm going to click on OK. And now let's choose a color here for the highest value. Select more colors. I'm going to paste the hex code here and then click on OK. And now I have the conditional formatting applied to the background of the total sales column. Now let's make some changes to the year over year sales and let's go to the year over year sales here. Go to conditional formatting and add data bars. Let's add data bar here and for the positive. I'm going to choose the green shade here and then for the negative bar, I'm going to choose this red color and then click on OK. I have now added the data bars to my year over year sales, but when you add the data bars, the numbers here are not very readable and they're not very clear. So instead of also displaying the numbers here, let's go back to the year over year sales, go to conditional formatting data bars and check this box here, which says show bar only so that in this particular column, we will only display the bar and we will not display the values. And now I'm going to click on OK. So you can see that we've now added just the bar here, which is very easy and clear to understand. Now let's add in another column where we will display the absolute values of the year over year sales. Now, if I bring in the year over year sales into the matrix visual here, you will see that I am just recreating that particular column here because we had applied conditional formatting on the year over year sales measure and whatever conditional formatting that you applied here will be recreated if you bring in the same measure into the matrix visual. And now since we want to display the absolute values, the workaround here is basically to create another measure. Let me get rid of the measure that I've added. So I only have one data bar here. I've now created another measure here with an underscore here, which says year over year sales. And then I'm referring to the same measure here, which says year over year sales. And now if I bring in the year over year sales into my visual. I now have the absolute values being displayed here of your over your sales. I now also have the data bars being displayed, whether it's a negative 
year over year sales or a positive year over year sales. I also have the percentage being displayed over here. Now let's add some icons here to the year over year percentage. Let's right click on year over year percentage, go to conditional formatting and choose icons here. Let's get rid of the rules that we have here and greater than equals to zero. Let's change this to number. And if this is greater than equals to zero and less than max value, and let's also change this to number, then it means that our year over year sales has gone up. So we need a green up arrow. And let's add a new rule here. And if it is greater than equals to, let's change this to number and say minus 999 and less than equals to zero number, then it means that the year over year sales has gone down. So I'm going to use this yellow arrow pointing downwards and then I'm going to click on OK. Now you can see that we've now added these arrows here, which is for negative, we have the downward arrow and for green or the positive values, we have the arrows pointing upward. And now the last thing that I have over here is the total sales by month. So let's see how I can add that. Let's right click on any of the values here and choose add a spark line. And on the add a spark line on the Y axis here, I'm going to choose the total sales amount from my measure section here. I have total sales and on the X axis here, I would like to display the total sales by month. So let's choose by month here and click on create. And we have now added spark lines to our visual. And now it's time for us to display a tooltip because the spark lines here do not really give us a lot of information. We are unable to display the data labels here. So let's add a tooltip. So I'm going to add a new page here and let's go to the format section under canvas background, sorry, under canvas settings. Let's go to type and choose tooltip and let's add a new visual here. I will add date and then add in total sales and let's change this visual into a column chart and then I'm going to get rid of year and quarter from here so that I only have months and then let's go to the format section and I'm going to turn on the data labels under X axis I'm going to turn off the title and under Y axis I'm going to turn off the values as well as the title and now let's go to the general tab under title here I would like to reduce or just say total sales by month and then reduce the size to about 10 or so and horizontal alignment let's align this to center and let's increase the size of this visual now and let's also go back here and under tool tips I'm going to bring in the total sales and add that particular measure here and let's go back to my page here and now and when I hover over this, I don't really see anything. So let's go to the format section here and search for tooltip and enable tooltips. And now that I have enabled tooltip, let's go to the option section under page here. I'm going to select page three. I can also rename this page here and give it a more meaningful name and say tooltip by month. Let's go back to my page two here under format section. Let's select tooltips and tooltip by month is now selected. When, when I hover over this particular tooltip, I now have the total sales by month being displayed. Let's make some more changes to this visual so that it's more appealing. Let's add a blank row here. Let's turn on blank row. You can choose a color of your choice if you would like to. And let's also look for or search for size here under grid global font size. I'm going to increase the font size to about 12 here. Let's also increase the size of this visual. And now with all of these changes, we have successfully transformed our boring looking matrix visual into a beautiful looking one. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.